Welcome back to another episode of the Mars Hydro SP250 and the Pepper Plant pH test. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing a taste test between each one of these plants. So we're gonna be taking one pepper from each plant, pH 5.5, pH 6.5, and 7.5. And you can see from the last episode that the peppers have grown uh, a little bit more. They got a little larger, and maybe a few more have grown in. But other than that, everything's pretty much about the same. So there's nothing really to report. Uh, so we're just going to be taking a pepper from each plant right about mid-height and making sure they're about the same size. I'll try to take them from the same node if I can get a pepper from each one that's approximately the same. So we're going to do that and then we're going to come back and do the taste test. Alright, so I have picked my peppers and they're all very close to the same size. One from each plant, obviously. I have them tagged. This one is the one from the basic and this is the one that's more acidic, and this is the one that's in between. And by that I mean no adjustment to the pH, just, the, just grown in the solution itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do when I eat these, I'm going to start with just the bottoms of them, uh, just the tips, because that's going to have the least amount of heat, and I want to be able to kind of see if there's a difference in flavor without making my mouth on fire from eating the portion where the seeds are. So let's just get right into this. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to start with, I'll start with the one that's pH of 7.5. Hmm. So it's slightly sweet, kind of like a green bell pepper. Um, the tip of it was kind of hard. Just a little bit more now. Uh, starting to get a little bit, just a very, very small amount of heat right into that, um, I'd say about a quarter of the way up there. Starting to taste a little bit more like a jalapeno at that point. It's kind of hard. It's, it's, um, it's not, it's a very hard, crunchy pepper. All right, let's try the one that is grown uh, in a more acidic solution of a pH of 5.5. Hmm. Right, tastes pretty identical to me. I'll do the same thing. I'll take a second bite, just a little, just a little bit further up. You know, still very hard, getting just a little bit of heat. This one has a little bit more heat, but I'm getting into more of the seeds than the one that was in the more basic. I mean, not much, but every pepper is going to be different. It really has nothing to do with the the pH. It's just the ones that you pick. Um, so let's try the one that's grown in the normal solution without changing the pH, 6.5. I don't taste, there's no difference. All three of these, you can't tell the difference, they're all the same. Uh, the texture, the hardness, the flavor, and the, the amount of heat at a certain point on the pepper. Well, the pH of the 6.5 here, it might just be the one that I picked, but it's not as spicy at this point in the pepper compared to the one that was growing in the more acidic, which is more spicy here. So now what I'm going to do is take a bite, probably a larger bite, probably a little further up. I can stand eating one pepper jalapeno that's hot, but eating three of them, I'm just doing this for YouTube. And these aren't even that hot, and I like spicy food, but I'm doing during some pain just for your entertainment. All right, so we're gonna probably take a bite. About half, about half of this pepper, what's left of it. Oh, 
Okay. That just hit the back of my throat. I shouldn't have swallowed that much at once. It really wasn't that hot. It's just, it just right in the back of the throat. All right, let's do the one that's uh, more acidic, pH of 5.5. We'll do the half of what's here. No, they both, all of them, they all got plenty of seeds. Hmm. You know, I have to say the one that's the pH of 5.5, eating that portion of it just halfway up, I'm not really getting that much heat. Or maybe my mouth is just now sort of used to it from the other one. Certainly not any more than the other one. Uh, maybe a little different flavor. All right, I will try the pH of 6.5. Yeah. So, very similar flavor, almost no heat, really. I mean, there's heat, but... Not as much as the uh, the first one. And it has the same flavor as the one that was more acidic too. So the pH of 5.5 .5 and pH of 6.5 have a very similar flavor and also probably the same heat. Now we're going to go back to the one uh, that was pH of 7.5. I'm just going to eat the rest of it. Take that off, and I'll just put the whole thing in my mouth. I don't think these were that ripe yet. Ooh, okay. It's definitely hot. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's painful. That was a big bite of a jalapeno pepper. hurting tomorrow. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, man, I can't imagine trying like a California Reaper or a ghost pepper or something. These aren't even supposed to be that hot, really. I mean, on a Scoville scale, I think these are... Um, 20,000 units on the Scoville scale. I think that's what these are supposed to be. It's for, for maybe 20 to 50,000. Uh, and I think the next one up is chili peppers or 100,000. And I know those were hot, but these seem, this that one anyway, seemed hotter. I'm going to have to cut the video here and come back because this is a uh, this isn't going to be fair if I take, if I put this in my mouth now, it's going to seem like it's hotter than it probably is. So I'm going to cut it and come back. All right, I'm back. I am mostly recovered now. And uh, I'm usually not this much of a baby when it comes to spicy stuff. That was, that was pretty spicy. Uh, all right, so let's get right into it. This is the pH of 5.5. I'm not really going to enjoy this. So the pH of 5.5, this pepper anyways, 
didn't seem nearly as hot as the one that was 7.5. So we're at two opposite end, ends here on the pH spectrum. I mean, it's hot, but the first one was definitely hotter. It's getting a little bit hotter. I mean, it usually takes a second with most peppers. The heat really kicks in more. I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, on um, just comparing these peppers so far, I would put the... I would put the last pepper I had at the 10 mark. Not saying it's the hottest pepper I've ever tried, but um, that would be on this scale. That would be at the 10. This one would be probably at the 6 if I had to, if I had to compare the three. All right, so I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to come back, and uh, we'll do the last one, which is a pH of 6.5. My guess is this is going to be higher up on the scale, just going off of the trend here. Not to turn the microphones on. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth open when I'm eating, but I can't redo it. Okay, so so far, no pain, no heat right now. I'm not feeling anything yet. They all taste about the same. There's really no difference in taste. But what most people people are probably interested in is knowing if it affects the uh, the heat in peppers. That would probably be the first noticeable thing is you know, knowing if there's a difference in um, how spicy they are. And so far, this one here, the pH of 6.5, the untouched one where there's no pH swings or large pH swings. And it's not hot whatsoever. That I mean, maybe I said before it was just a slight, tiny bit spicy. This here, the pH of 6.5 on the scale of 1 to 10 based off of these three only, this is a 1 or a 0 actually. No heat whatsoever, especially in that the portion of the pepper where it would be the hottest. Nothing. I feel nothing right now. Which is a relief because I can feel the pressure in my ears finally is relieved and I can hear again. It's almost like when you go up and down in a plane. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced that before when they've eaten peppers. But yeah, not hot whatsoever. And I'm not an expert in peppers, but if I had to guess, it probably has something to do with um, this being in the middle. So pH of 6.5 unadjusted compared to the more acidic environment or the more basic environment, this plant is probably less stressed. I know there's some people that would probably say it has to do with the nutrients that they're fed or whatever, and you know that's probably true to uh, a point, but in some of my other tests, the peppers that I've grown didn't seem to get hot until I actually stressed the plant out in some kind of way. So when you have uh, large pH differences in the solution and then you have a pH swing because it becomes more acidic at, over time, um, especially when you've already added acid to it, that to me is in a sense uh, causing some some kinds of stresses on the plant. So I think the pH of 6.5, where I did not add anything to the solution whatsoever, I think it probably stayed more consistent, where the pH didn't drop as fast. Um, and it certainly didn't go up either. Maybe that's why this pepper here was the one that was not hot. So in the last video, which is going to be the next one you'll see, uh, I think which will be episode 8, uh, I'm not sure offhand. Uh, so what we're going to do there is we're going to tally up all the peppers that I've grown on the plant. Um, I'm not going to be doing any more videos from this point until the last video because all I'm really going to be doing is growing the peppers and I'm going to actually be
picking them as they get larger, large enough, and then I'm going to be counting them and weighing them and keeping a tally of that. So the last video, we're going to go over that. We're going to look at the root system. I'll probably weigh the roots, the roots as well. Uh, we're going to do a couple of other things and also look at the time lapse. Um, and then after that, after this, episode, after this series is done, I'm going to go back. We're going to go look back at the, for those who've been following along anyways, we're going to go back to the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED and grow the same pepper plants from the seeds from these peppers. And then we're going to look at that and then also probably compare them to how many peppers we got uh, on average from these plants uh, compared to the plants growing under the, grown under those lights. It's not going to be as long as the last series. It's going to be probably... Uh, just a couple of episodes just like this one. So that's about it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. It was not fun for me, just to let you know that. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.